I just want to encourage you, Lord to God, about your pastor and about your church. Ten reasons why your church or your pastor not preaching and teaching on hell. Yes, somebody asked, why Why you talk so much about hell? Because hell is real. Hell is a place where God made it for the devil and his angel, glory to God, and false prophet and people. But hell, my friend, should be preached in the church. Hell should be emphasized more, glory to God, than prosperity. Yes, church, glory to God, should be preaching more about hell than prosperity. You can get prosperity being a sinner. Hey, glory to God, hallelujah, but you can't get hallelujah preaching about hell from the sinner. They say hell with you, but they don't preach about hell. So 10 reasons why your church or your pastor not preaching and teaching on hell. Be honest. Number one, he's afraid he might die tonight for lying on a sacred desk because he's he's been lying about his stewardship on the pulpit. And the reason why he lying about the stewardship on the pulpit because he haven't been a good pastor. He ought to find a job. Hey, glory to God. Listen, Paul was a tent, meet, a tent maker. Philip, glory to God, hallelujah, he was an evangelist, but he worked. Peter was a fisher. Luke was a physician. But actually, your, your title of your pastor, he is just, glory to God, preaching and hooping and performing. That's not a job. He glory to God. Number two, it's your answer of getting out of sin, and you might leave this church you in. The reason why he, he's not preaching on hell, because the condition you are living. If you're living an adultery life, you're living in sin. If you're fornicating, you're living in sin. And if your pastor not preaching about hell, he don't care about your soul. So number two, it's your answer of getting out of sin, and you might leave the church you're in. Number three, it's an appointment we're all going to be judged and we can't cancel or change it. Hebrew 9.27 say it's appointed man wants to die than the judgment. Number fourth reason why your pastor want to preach about hell. It makes you stay away from sin. It is preached with sincerity and righteousness. So hell is preached with sincerity and with hell. The reason why your pastor don't preach it because a pastor doing everything under the sun. Hey, glory to God, I'm not picking on your pastor. I'm trying to help you to understand the method, my friend, of the reason why you can get out of sin. You got to preach about hell. Hey, glory to God. Number fifth reason is not just about the message being preached. You will fear and repent and get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's the method. Of preaching about hell. It's not just, it's just not another message being preached. You will fear and repent and get baptized in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Why your pastor not preaching or teaching about hell? Number six reason why you're not preaching and teaching about hell. It's a message to make you break down your fallen ground and cry loud. And say, save me, Lord, now before you come through death of a loved one. That's why he's not preaching hell. Glory to God. Several reasons why he's not preaching hell. Jesus Christ came, died, and rose to be our attorney. Hey, glory. So we don't have to go to hell. Yes, my friend. Jesus Christ came. He died and rose. And to be our attorney, I don't have to die and go to hell. Because I believe, hey, glory to God, because the Bible say in Mark 16, verse 16, he that believeth and baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. I don't want to be damned. I want to be delivered. Hey, glory to God. And that's what a pastor want to preach. And next thing the pastor want to preach, because listen to my friend. When, when our attitude about hell is preached, we will pull, stop clubbing and attending the strip club. Yes, when our attitude about hell is preached, we will, we will, we will pull 
and stop clubbing and attending the strip club, seeing some man in some underwear or seeing a girl coming down a pole and you wondering why you're broke and disgusted because you're going to a strip club or the club. Why am I, my pastor not preaching on hell, preacher? That's why I'm here to help you, to tell you we atheists, and glory to God, are going to hell for being educated or ignorant. When they know God, they glorify him as not as God, but in vain in their imagination. Hey, glory to God, why your pastor is not preaching on hell? Number 10th reason, the almighty God sent his son to stop us from this burning place called hell. The church is silent, but I'm not silent. I'm going to tell you, my friend. You know what I'm going to tell you? Because I got a book out, glory to God, it called A Place Called Hell and the Lake of Fire. A Place Called Hell and the lake of fire and i'm telling you my friend glory to god this place is real this place my friend will make you cry i'm gonna read one of my poetry in a place called hell and the lake of fire and it say illuminati the key to the lake of fire everybody want to be a millionaire want the glamour and the star reaching for status in the industry of production eating up in Neverland with monkey and animal around you, darkness around you, weeping, worm crawling within your flesh. A preview of the underworld of screaming and teeth gnashing. The big lie Satan tell. Sign your, your life. You be rich and famous living your dream of reality. Being in the in the limelight, waiting nothing from society, wanting nothing from society. Illuminati can't be broken through the blood of Jesus Christ. Whitney daughter passed away. Who next? Stop the judgment on the rich and famous. Plead the blood on the devil kingdom, stopping the the the, the capturing of our young rich daughters and son. Satan is behind all this madness of destroying the human race through wealth and popularity. At the end is death. The grass look green now, but when you cross the fence, is death, but it can be broken. Things not going to be normal again when you expose evilness. Satan is, de is defeated since the cross of Calvary. Satan give riches, but give death in the lake of fire. Satan give flame, fame and popularity, but his vile is death and destruction. The thief cometh to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came that they may have life and have it more abundantly. It's not just the riches and famous that are Illuminati. If you are adulterous living or homosexual or lesbian and continue sin, you have a sign, a contract with Satan Illuminati, which is Lucifer hidden name. Owl, the Isle of, of, of Illuminati. Are you a part of this religion? How oh, glory to God having the owl in your office and home all around you. Break the contract through the death of confession of Jesus Christ from the cross of belief of holiness living. The blood is the only omission. Reverse of freedom from hell and the lake of fire. Luminati, the key of the lake of fire. My friend, don't go to this place. Don't go to the lake of fire. Don't go to hell. Because hell is real and your pastor is quiet on the subject of hell. When the last time your pastor preached on hell? When the last time the pastor preached on Satan? When the last time you heard about Lucifer? When the last time you heard that the wages of sin is death? But the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. God wants you to go to heaven. But Satan wants you to go to hell. My friend. My job. As being a servant of God. Is to tell you. That why your pastor. Is not teaching. And preaching. About hell. Because he's doing the same thing. 
gloating like Satan. He been commissioned by the devil to let you go to hell. But don't go to hell. 